Today was a good day. I finally experienced the Antarctica I remembered from 2009. As we sailed into Dorian Bay and made our way to Des Moines Point, the sunrise was magnificent. The sun was hitting the mountain snow caps. We were about to experience our best day so far in Antarctica. What I had not realized prior to landing at Des Moines Point is how close we were to Port Lockroy, another British station in a well-known Antarctic destination as it is operating during the summer months. A small gift shop and a post office are very popular with tourists who want to have their passport stamped. It was also the site where in 2009 I shot some of my most dramatic penguin photography. The British Antarctic Survey established an airstrip in the 1970s to support their research in the area of Des Moines Point. The Des Moines Hut, built at the time, is considered an Antarctic historical site. An Argentinian refuge was also built on Des Moines Point in the late 1950s. The Des Moines Hut is a museum that can be visited, while the Argentinian refuge is only to be used in case of emergency. Like Port Lockroy, Des Moines Point is home to a Gentoo penguin colony. And just like Port Lockroy, the landscape allowed Gentoos to build rock nests where they brewed their eggs. As the season advances, you hope that the chicks that were late to hatch will be ready to face a harsh Antarctic winter. Some won't, but most of the chicks that I saw were bigger than what I had seen at Port Lockroy 14 years ago, given that we were three weeks later in the season this time. In your head, you hope that all will make it. It's always interesting to observe the interaction of the adults with their chicks, especially when it's feeding time. Close-up shots are pretty revealing. Arguments between adults are also funny to watch. So far, this has been the most satisfying experience of this excursion. Landing in a lively Gentoo penguin colony surrounded by snow peaks is what I remember of Antarctica. As much as I was feeling somewhat gloomy after the last few days of visiting empty colonies, I was now in very high spirit, and I was looking forward to the spectacular event that was planned for the evening, sailing through the Le Maire Channel at sunset. <laughs>